Hi guys, so 7, 17, 23, 7, 53 in the morning, I got these words. There are six different um, sections. The open door, leaders, come to me, fearless, my missionaries, and do not. So number one, the open door. Come one, come all, to the house of the Lord. My door is open to all who want eternal life. I forgive, I love, I care. Come to me. My son is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes but through him. He is the open door. He opens the door that no one can open. Some will come now through the open door in heaven. There is a way to bring mine to me. Some will be translated. Others will rise in rapture. I have given the keys to unlock the door. The door opens. I call mine home. Number two, leaders. Leaders, prepare your hearts. You will be the first through the door of life. Some of you have been given a mission. Follow it through. I will prepare hearts and provide opportunities for you to complete it. Leaders, it is time to work. After the work, then you will go through the open door. Rest assured, I have all you need to accomplish the tasks. Be my joy. I will bring the people to you. You do not have to go looking. These final moments are essential. Those you affect will be changed. The harvest begins now as you connect with those I bring to you. By listening to me, you will know the tasks and have the full power to complete it. Be of joy. Now is the time to begin. For those I have given a mission. If you have no mission, it is fine. Be at peace. Not everyone is called at the same time. Your time will come. Those called, you go with my blessing and full protections. I will open every door and direct you in every step. If you are not called, pray. If you are called to go, go. If you are called to stay, stay. If you are called to act, act. Do not fret. Nothing can harm mine on a mission. See the 70 disciples sent out. You have been given this gifting. You now have these abilities. Stay in tune with my voice and you will see what I have for you. Nothing of risk or scary will occur. All will be a joy. If you are not called to go, pray for those that are sent out. They need my full protection and more voices in prayer does make a difference. If I burden you to pray, pray until you go through the open door to me. If you are not called, your time will come. Do not fret. Rejoice, church. The missions are to begin. The first phase to bring in the half-borns before rapture. Rejoice. Number three. Humans connecting with humans. This is how the gospel is spread. This is how love, compassion, and joy, and peace are spread. Recently, the world was closed down and spells were cast upon it. This was the attempt of darkness to keep humanity apart. Apartness creates fear, isolation, misery, and loneliness. These traits feed fear and the control fear has over man. Slowly, humanity has returned to be with one another. But you notice it is not right. It is not the same. This is the power of fear. Pray for the world. Pray for the love to dominate fear. The spirit of truth is about to take over. The spirit of fear will be conquered. Pray for those trapped in fear. The kings will attempt to close the world down again, this time with full control. Pray for their failure. Pray for the spirit of truth to rise in people's hearts and for true love to shine. Love offers true freedom. Both fear and death were conquered by my son, Jesus, the one and only Messiah, when he died on the cross and went to the pit to conquer death. When he arose again, he became dominant over all the fears of evil and darkness and over Satan, the adversary. There is no reason for any saved to fear. It only feeds darkness. Fear is not of humanity, not actually. Humanity was designed without fear. Fear is only a result of not fully relying on me. Trust me, fear not. Pray for others to fear not, for them and for them to trust me. Number four, come to me all you who are tired. 
This world has become a burden. Life was not meant to be lived under all these pressures. Come to me. Allow me to carry your burdens and make the few remaining minutes joyful and light. As the kings of this world make obtuse pressures on all, turn to me. I will make your life easy and I will serve as a contrast to their harsh controls. Do not fall to their pressures. Remember, men were made to be free. Not the freedom that ensnares with sin, but in true freedoms, every day is light and joyful and I provide blessings. See the contrast and choose me. I have what is best for you in hand. For I, God, so loved the world, I gave my only son to the world as a sacrifice for sin for as many as will come. Believe in Jesus Christ. He is the one true Messiah and Savior of the world and his sacrifice has made a way for any to come and be forgiven and justified forever and to be in heaven for eternity. Not choosing Jesus but following any other way is falsehood. No matter how peaceful, no matter how illuminated, no matter how it feels, even if it sounds like it's from me, these all lead to eternal hell and the lake of fire forever and ever. This is not a joke. Wake up. Jesus is indeed the only way to me. I am the author of justice. Justice will be served. Do not be on the wrong side of justice. Time is very short. Choose me today. I am the author of hope. I am the alpha and the omega. I have no beginning or end. I am the only authority. To reject Jesus, my son, is to reject me. If he does not know your name, then when you come before my throne at the end of your life, I will deny you life and you will be banished to the pit and then the lake of fire. Take the blinders off. The evil one has swayed the world to think hell and eternal fire are not real. This is a lie. The adversary is the author of lies. Do not believe anything he says or his ministers of evil and darkness say. Come to me. Learn to rejoice. Learn to feel true love and acceptance. Learn what peace feels like. Come. Number five, my missionaries. Except for those who pray for you, do not discuss your mission. Just humbly go in obedience. Take my joy. Proof of your obedience will occur in its right time. Do not brag about going. Do not bring focus to yourself. Bring focus to the harvest. Bring focus to listening to me. Bring focus to following my every command. Think not of what you have been told to leave behind. I will care for it. Keep your heart pure. Take communion before you leave on your mission. Abstain from unclean things while on your mission. You represent me. You must be at the top of your game. I will bless you with special provisions and protections. Have no fear. Rejoice and be my witnesses. Shalom. Go with my blessing. Number six. Those who have not been called on a mission do not go on a self-proclaimed mission. I am doing something new. If you were not already called before Sunday, which was 7 16 23, to a mission by me, pray for those called. They already have made arrangements for hotels, they have flights booked. These are the ones I have already called. They know in their soul they had to do this. They know in their soul they are sent on a mission trip doing things they would not normally do to make it happen. These are my missionaries. Do not go on a self-proclaimed mission. Man's methods will not work in this time. Stay and pray for those who go. That's it. And there's a, there's a handful of um, footnotes. If you are going on mission, I highly encourage you to read the footnotes because some of those verses are extraordinarily important. Um, I was also told to reread the sending of the 70 and reread all of Acts. So if that's helpful to you, you might want to do that as well. So I hope this is an encouragement to you and um, see you next time.